Hello everyone, welcome back to All the Mods Volcano Block. So, between episodes, I have been doing it. I don't know why this thing's taking so long. This is so weird over here, but um, I've been doing a little bit of things over here, I'd say. I've uh, I got myself a crafter right here, and... Yeah, I'm trying to do a thing where it, it smelts up all of these things. Uh, I wouldn't say all of these things. Yeah, because... Uh, like, the, the gold and stuff, that's still coming in, but... Yeah, I set myself up one of these crafters from RF Tools. I thought this would be easier than the other crafter or the other compactor. I think this is quicker. This is ridiculously quick, to be fair, so... I need to set up another one of these for the other orbits. So I think platinum, like lead, uh, it was platinum, lead, uranium, and where's silver? Oh, silver's all the way over there. Fair enough. Yeah, those are the only ones that I don't have set up right now to go and smelt. Uh, I've got this thing right here, but I'm going to set up another modular router to put into a set of drawers over here with all of these in there. Um, I think a few people did mention, there was a couple of mentions in the Discord as well, about using a compacting drawer. So I do not have everything for a compacting drawer. Actually, that's not bad because we can just smack up some cobble and then we'll have everything. There you go, that'll do us. So if I place this down, and then we stick it down, it doesn't compact it up into the ore pieces. I assumed that this would this would happen, which is why I didn't do it in the first place. But um, where did that go? Oh, there it is. Good. Whew. Yeah, I, I was 100% assuming that that would be the case. That it would just it it wouldn't do anything. So that's why I put these drawers down. We do need to compact them up, and I'm just going to raw smelt them because it doesn't really matter, right? We could double the, we could double it. We could make like, I don't know, some weird ore hammer thingy for it. But what's the point? I mean, we're getting infinite resources anyway, right? Just from these machines right over here. So it doesn't really matter, in my opinion. That's, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. So what we're going to do is. Uh, we're going to get all of these ingots into compacting drawers. I think that would be good. Um, whilst I remember, what I do want to do is I want to finish the getting started quests today. Uh, so that does mean we need a netherite mesh. I forget how you get netherite. Do you get it from... Uh, sieving... Ah, crushed. Ah, that's good then. Why are you being weird? Stop it. There you go. Now now you got the rhythm back. That's so weird. <laughs> uh, so I'm making a bunch of netherrack right now. And we're going to do that manually, I think, rather than in one of these. Because I did a bunch of endstone to try and get some uh, ender pearls. But if we do ender... Pearls. We have a look at this. Go to sieves. And we're currently on the emerald mesh. There's only like, what, a 3% chance right there to get one ender pearl. You might get two or three if you're really lucky. But 3% chance, and it does 16 at a time right now over here. This thing's doing 16 at a time. I did set it to dust because, wow, well, we need... We need the uh, the glowstone and the redstone right now. Get a lot of redstone out of this. is pretty good. Oh, poo. Yeah, I need to set up some some void upgrades on a few of these. But anyway, um, yeah, we need uh, we need that over here to to get us some netherite for the quest. I'm also needing to do this right. I need to make the end cake. So we'll look into that. I think the only thing we don't really have access to... Wow, we don't have milk and stuff. Uh, I did not think about that. 
Uh, we've made dough in the past. I think I've still got some dough, so we could use this recipe. We do need an egg. That might be an issue. Might mean that we make some delightful dirt. Oh, but we need chickens for that anyway, right? So we, we have to go somewhere else. I think we might make our way over to uh, whatever this structure over here is. Which kind of makes sense. Anyway, um, what I've got right here is I've got a modular rear, and this has got a puller upgrade. And the puller upgrade has got these ore pieces in there. And it's just pulling straight out of the storage controller because it can do that. It can just pull out the ones that you need. That's filling into here. I, I would love to set a priority on this to do the, the, the iron first, but doesn't seem to want to do it, which is fine. Uh, then this is just pulling out from the output slot, which is this bit here. And it is sending into the advanced smelting factory. This is actually a second one. I made another one. There's another one over there. And then we need another modular reader to send from here into another set of drawers. I mean, technically, we could just send it back into this set of drawers and, and just, like, connect them up. How many would that be? That would be eight, I think. Eight drawers. So we could put them at the top here. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, I need to make compacting drawers for those. Compacting drawer. So, I need a bunch of pistons. I am out of iron. Hmm. Okie doke. Well, we can make a bunch of iron. Shift K. There you go. That gets us a bunch of raw iron. Uh, oh, I need those. Thank you. So, what... Oh, you... That's annoying. Yeah. Um, what we'll do now is I will set up the compacting drawers. I'll set up the modular router. And then we'll be right back. Okie dokie. So for this one, I can just set this to export to the top with eject on. Why are you not ejecting everything to the top? That's, that's aggravating. You should be sending everything. Oh, because you can't. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew that. So... I think I'm going to put gold here. Why the flip are you doing it like that? That's not what I wanted you to do. Eh. There you go. Oh, okay, I'm going to have to turn it into nuggets first. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. There we are. So it's now just sending anything that it gets from here up into here. That is going up rapidly. Um, okay, anyway, when this is done, it's going to move on to copper. I don't know if I've smelted everything yet. I should probably... Uh, yeah, I should get one of each. Osm no, eh. Osmium. Yeah, I'm going to get one of each, and I'm going to prime all of these. All right, there we go. That is going to start smelting everything for us. It does need to get through the backlog, which is going to take a while. But that's quick enough, isn't it? For now, I think it is at least. Let's chuck that away. Cool. At some point, what we'll do is... Well, I might get a storage... Whatever they're called. Uh, it used to be called a controller slave back in the day. But obviously, you know, we don't want to use those sort of words. So I think it's called something else now. That's... Functional storage. Controller extension. So we could use one of these. Maybe we pop it like right here. And then we can route a cable that goes all the way over to our refined storage. I think that sounds like a good idea right there. Uh, we kind of need to get cables over to everything else as well and set up some auto crafting. But for now we can just do it manually. I think that's fine. Uh, I also kind of need to s change this over to be a puller module. Do uh, that one. And then we need to send a module to go back onto this one. Good. 
I think that's fine. Yeah, that's just going to crack out all of the... All of the stuff from the dust. And then the gravel will start coming in. And it should make us a backlog of this stuff. I, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, uh, now we're on to the aluminium. But yeah, we're getting a bunch of resources. That's pretty good. Right. Anyway, let's uh, let's try and crack out this this cake. Now, for this, we are going to need soul sand, which means because that's how you get it. You get it from soul sand. We need some sort of witch water set up, which is fine because we got mycelium seeds, right? Mycelium seeds. And we can get a barrel. And I'm going to set something up for this. Probably just get some dirt. One, two, three, four. Let's get nine pieces of dirt. We'll do like a little three by three area. So we could probably do that here. Okay, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stick down the mycelium. You don't need to put them all down like this, but I had the seed, so might as well. Pipe it. Sink it. Have I got a sink? No. Okay, I'm going to need to make a new sink. There we go. This is super basic. I think it's... um. Yeah, there we go. If you put sand in the witch water that you get, you get yourself soul sand. So what we're going to do is we're going to use logic pipes to just like pipe in sand, which will turn it into soul sand, and pipe out of it. And then infinite water is coming in from this side, and yeah, the mycelium. So that, that's just going to make us soul sand, but it's going to take flipping ages. Because I forgot how long it takes for the water to turn into witch water but that's fine we can just leave this for a while and over time we should be able to get like quite a bit of soul sand uh, how much what what percent chance have we got on this have a look sipping two percent so we need 50 of these 50 soul sands to get us a chance of getting this that does get us like a bunch of quartz though. So, and we're gonna need a bunch of quartz, like a bunch of stuff. I mean, there is no reason why we can't just take them as they come and then we can uh, do one of those. Did we get anything? No, we didn't, but we did get some quartz and I feel like I needed quartz for something, but I've forgotten what it is now. But that's fine. Uh, we also need a bunch of yeah, well, we need to get a bunch of netherrack, but we also need a load of uh, this glowstone being converted into endstone, because we're going to need quite a bit of enderpearls. Now, I know I said that I could use, I should be using this manually, because there's like a really small percent chance that we'll get anything from it. It's fine for now because, yeah, we're just going to let this do its thing for a second. It's like, it's kind of manual at this point. I just want it, I want this to finish up. We might get some netherite scrap. You never know. If we do from this, we're going to get 16 because of how it all works, right? So I'm hopeful that we're going to get netherite scrap. If not, we'll just go and make some more uh, netherrack. Which I'm fine with. Oh man, little bit unlucky right there. I don't know if we were unlucky to be fair, because we we need like a. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna just stick this in like that. There we go. Uh, and then I can swap this one back over to there. Perfect. So we did get. I, I feel like we got a little bit unlucky on that one. Maybe we should have got some. 
wait, is it like this? Control shift key. There we go. So I could smoosh this up. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for later, I think. Uh, I don't think we need ender pearls just yet. We are gonna need six by the end of this, but that's fine. Let's get rid of these. I do have a quest. I think it's right here. I need to make one of these boats. So, to do that, if your spawn island is not a ship, well, no matter, just sieve some crushed netherrack and bone meal the stuff that you get from it. So, we could use this stuff. Warped. No, what's this? Crimson. Yeah, we could use these spores. Use it on netherrack. In fact, we got some netherrack. And we got some bone meal. Perfect. Someone did mention, why don't you make a... Um, what do you call it? Up here. Is that in the middle? No. Uh, a elevator. Or like some stairs or something. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't. That's a very good point. I probably should. Nope. 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 I'm kind of guessing that we get a, a some sort of sapling or something at some point. <gasps> Here we go. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Oh, this isn't really a tree either. Oh, we can get up like this though. That's good. Perfect. There we go. And get this shroom light as well. Thank you. Wait, we can get rid of this now. Probably a bad idea to do that, but meh, it's fine. So now we can make the boat. And that is a quest. What do we get for that? Experience, love it. I just saved some of the uh, soul sand we've got by hand, and we got ourselves an end crystal. That's one of two that we need for the end cake. Yeah, I think that's a good goal to go for. What other stuff? To, okay, we got some grass seeds, right? It's nice about grass. Brilliant. We don't have any grass seeds. Uh, I used all my grass seeds. I don't know if the quest has updated since then. Growing grass. It says just grab some grass seeds. This is awesome because it gives you a dreadful dirt. Uh, will snow cap at night if exposed to sky? Light level... Below 10 stops creatures from spawning. Does not work in ocean biomes. Okay, good to know. That would be super useful because we can get a bunch of passive mobs. I think... What's this one? Vanilla chickens can be converted to resource chickens by using the resource you want to convert the chicken to on the chicken. Okay, it takes two... 50 of the item to convert the chicken. Fine. That's actually really good to know. And then you can breed them. Cool. Okay. That's that's different to the way that I've played it in the past. That's really useful. Someone did mention uh, try and get the chicken for the blaze rods. So we could do that. Because we've got a way of making blaze rods. Uh, we just need 250 of those blaze rods on there, I think. Right, we're going to need that grass seed, so I am going to do the, the old, you know, duplicate using coarse dirt. It should give us more dirt, right? Oh, and it put the flipping dirt in. I didn't mean that. To, didn't mean for that to happen. Right, give us that. No grass seed. Brilliant. And that should be... How the heck did I not get any grass seeds again? That is how you get it, right? Grass. Oh my god. Grass. Seed. It's just from dirt. It is from dirt. Ah. Okay, I just got unlucky there. Oh, damn it, I missed it. Sorry. Uh, I got the... I got the quest. I forgot it would just pop up if, uh, if I got the quest or not. But yeah, I got the quest. Not bad. We already have grass oh my goodness we've got chickens as well that is absolutely amazing sand chicken oh, because we're in the desert ah 
Does it have to be a regular chicken for for us to use items on? Sand chicken's really good, actually. Can we pick these up? <gasps> we can. We got the carry-on mod. I forgot about that. Sweet. Okay. We might have to pen this off. Let's do that now, actually. Let's grab... Uh, gates. Make an oak gate. And then I'll make some fences as well. Okay, so from the quest, we did get this uh, delightful dirt. So if we stick that down. Ah, there you go. And a bunny. Amazing. I do believe that after a while, this will grow stuff. Oh, we can... Ah, that's perfect, actually, if you think about it. Ah, oh, they might be able to jump on top of this. Oh, maybe not. That's perfect, because we can get a couple of buckets of milk from that. Which is what we're after. Bucket. One, two, three. What's that over there? <gasps> Ooh, we got a star bunkle. I forgot that ours was in this, if I'm honest. So we might have to do a bunch of ours at some point. I think for now, I just want to make this this like cake thing. Uh, what else do we need to do? All right, let, let's make the cake. Oh, we still need eggs. So I don't think sand chickens are going to lay eggs, if I'm honest. But we might get a regular chicken. That looks like a regular chicken right there. Oh no, it's a sand chicken again. Uh, fine. Might need to uh, do a little bit of culling, let's say. It always feels really bad doing that. Uh, I am going to grab some nuggets. Let's grab like five of them. We'll get a bunch of Starbuncle charms. They do run away from you. That one's got a present as well, so that one's really good. There we go. Get the present and everything. That one gave us two as well. Oh, Wild and Spikes. No way. And uh, Potion of Mana Regen. And one of the R's soundtracks. Not bad. I would have really liked some of the Wild and Horn things. Because the drag meat, we could get a drag meat shot out of it. And before you ask, that's how I say drag me is drag me. Right, next up, I'm putting a brown mushroom down like that. That gets us one bit of the quest. What do we do with this? Apparently, you put it back through, you get red mushroom. It's not exactly what we wanted, right? How do we get... Oh, you get mushroom if you break this block, right? Normally you would. Not all the time, it's like a, a random thing, but we don't need to do that because we already got slime balls, so we can just make ourselves a slime block. Pretend we did it that way. And there's the quest for that one. So that gets us a bit of sand, three bits of sand. Very generous. Uh, what is the next bit? Do one of those. Dreadful dirt. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, we might have to set this up. If we set up the dreadful dirt maybe over here and have an automated killing method. I think that's a good idea. Is mob grinding well, mob grinding utils are definitely in this, right? Because we got the dreadful dirt. So might need a mob masher and some vector plates. Vector plates, yeah. So we can make these. Okay, I need some sugar. What did you get? You get six, so that's actually kind of perfect. So we can put those over the dreadful dirt. Things should still spawn, even though the vector plates are there. Now, we do need it to be dark, but luckily we've got a ton of amethyst shards. So we can make some tinted glass, which I believe means that if you're inside this, it, it's dark. I think that's how it works. Uh, we need a way of automated killing as well, right? So that would be the mob masher. Masher. This thing. So we need a bunch of iron. I wonder if we got a bunch of iron from this. 
I wonder if it actually made it to iron yet. Oh, it looks like it, it has. That means that, where is it? Iron. 2k! Flipping it. That's pretty good. Uh, we might need. Oh, I've got redstone already, so we should be fine. Right, let's make this bad boy. Now, the question is do we make some of the upgrades? Like, the luck upgrade's pretty good. I, I think we should. Also, it's really easy to make, which is a bonus. So we need 40 of these blue dye. I need to convert a bunch of my gold. Yeah, into nuggets. Perfect. There you go. We got 10 out of it. Perfect. Um, poop. I did forget that we kind of need... Some sort of storage system. I'll tell you what, we will do that next time, I think. We'll come back to that. For now, I'm still, like, hostile mobs. Okay, that's good. Chickens. Animal capture net. Okay. Let's do one of those, because that is a quest. Chickens. And you get an egg. Ah, perfect. Okay, we can use this egg to make uh, make the end cake. Uh, okay, we need some more sugar. One, oh, I've only got one. No way. Okie dokie. I converted this over to being... Well, I didn't convert it. I just added the extra bits that you get from sand on the corner here. So, technically, we could have all of these running at the same time. I'm not doing that yet because I need a bunch of stuff before we do that. Hello, horse. So, now we can make this, and that means we can make the cake. Beautiful. And then... Yeah, I need to make more eyes of ender. And... I need to make another end crystal, and that was the badger. Oh, yeah, we've got these right here. Right, I'm going to go sieve these. Oh, I need food as well. Let's put the cake away before I accidentally eat it. Oh! We did really well out of that. We got ourselves three gas tiers. Amazing. Right, anyway, we can make another one of these. Uh, why did that not work? There we go. Got another one of those. Now, I need to do the end stone and get enough eyes of ender. So it's really useful to have regular one of the crafting tables right here. So, yeah, I'm going to crush these up and sieve them, and then we'll be back when I have finished doing that. Whee! Okay, I've still got I've still got a stack of crushed endstone to do, but I'll do that another time. We did get enough ender pearls, I believe, to make this cake. Uh, I just put my configurator away. That is fine. And cake. Yeah, wait, I already had three, apparently. Interesting. Anyway... We got the end cake. I think this takes us to the end. So again, we're going to save that one for next episode. Let's get rid of all of these. Where was that? That was right there. Got some dirt. Brilliant. Ooh, steak. That's pretty good. I, I actually have been... I wouldn't say hurting for food. Because I've got apples and stuff, so... You know, these are really good because you can just eat them once and sustains you for quite a while. Uh, right, what else have I got to do? So I need to make a wind generator, which we aren't going to use, and a coal generator, which again, we're not going to use. I believe I've already finished this one, so we just need to make these ones and we'll be fine. I need to make a chicken stasis chamber. Uh, the nest is the best way to automate your resource chickens. When seeds and chickens are placed in the nest, they will automatically output their resources over, over time into an inventory below them. You can also pipe in seeds from any side. To place the chicken in the nest, use your animal capture net. Okie dokie. Yeah, we could do that. That doesn't look that bad, actually. We might have to automate making hay... Or at least, uh, like, getting, 
getting the seeds right there. I think that might be a good idea. I don't think it's... it's is it better to... Oh my god, look at all the oak logs we've got. Uh, that might start filling up our system at some point. I should have a, a draw for that. Hmm. Anyway. Um, is it is it better to sieve dirt to get the, the wheat seeds? I don't think it is, right? It's probably better just to do some, some sort of automated farming. Surely, surely it's better to do that. Anyway, we can probably make one of these. One, two. Ah, there you go. That was easy enough. And we don't need it because we've already set up pretty decent power right there. And the same goes for this coal generator. One, two. I already made a machine frame because, uh, well, we made the, the crafter to craft up our orbits over there right so that is the coal generator and that did get us a bunch of quests nice Th this gives us some good rewards down here right bit of redstone brilliant and we got a gold upgrade so we could put that in one of these for now there you go that does how many two items per tick Whereas this one does 16. I don't know why it says 16, 32, uh, 64. This one says 2, 4, 8. I oh, don't know. Right, moving... Oh, never mind. We don't even need the bone meal. Moving on, what I was going to say is we need to get some grass. But it does grow on the delightful dirt. And it stops things from spawning. So, there is ways of getting around that. I think the best way that I've seen, and it's the way that I normally do it, is you have a water bucket, like, just go over. You need a water bucket to just, like, be dispensed and then picked up again. And that gets rid of all of the grass around it. So, that might be an idea if we want to keep that dirt going. That is now, that is good. We know about that one, and chickens can be bred the same way as you breed them in vanilla, using seeds. Unlike vanilla, however, chickens have certain stats. Okay. Okay, so yeah, it's got the, the stats thing in here. Brilliant. Right, the last thing on the list that I can see before we baboom this entire chapter is the netherite mesh. So that is what we should focus on, in my opinion. Right, let's put that away. We should have a decent amount of redstone. We do. And I should be able to just lob it in like that. Perfect. And we're just going to get a bunch of netherrack. I need to wait for this to finish, basically. And then I'll go do some sieving. Although, I'm half tempted to chuck it in the, the, the thing again. And if we do get a hit on the netherite, we'll get 16 netherite, which I think is always decent. <laughs> I just did the, uh, the reward thing to get the Alfred GG sword, which I'm definitely going to place down right here. Absolutely awesome YouTuber. Right there, Alfred GG, if you've not seen him. Uh, I think Alfred also, he does a lot of the quests, if I'm not mistaken. We go up here and we go to the welcome page. There he is. Hey, we got his sword. That's a bit sus though. Why have we got his sword? What's he? He's probably got a better sword. But this one is ours now. <laughs> oh yeah, I was going to say, we got an Inferium pickaxe as well. So... We can use this to mine up some obsidian if we accidentally like place it down. And we can upgrade it, but I don't know. If you guys have seen any of my stuff before, you'll know that I'm not a massive fan of Mystical. And there's an alternative, and that is chickens. So we're going to do chickens rather than... Uh, okay, we do need to move this, otherwise they're all going to get out. Fine, let's... Up. Just 
stick it there instead. Cool. Yeah, we're going to do chickens instead, I think. Just because, I, I don't know, it's different. Right, another set of crushed netherrack later, and we'll see what we get. Ah, there we go. We got the netherite scrap. That's what we're looking for. We can actually make four of these into netherite sieves. I don't think there's much of a, a point in doing that. It doesn't look like... Uh, I'm probably missing something, but it doesn't look like there's any, like... Additional bonuses that you get. I could be wrong, though. Um, smithing table. Now, this is on an older version of Minecraft, so it's not 1.20.1. But that is fine, because... That way, we get another right mesh. And we completed... Part 1. Getting started. So we have definitely gotten started now, which is awesome. Uh, we oh hello. We also need six of these to upgrade it to the netherite upgrade, which does a whole stack at once. That'd be insane. But we also need three of these diamond upgrades, so we should probably automate these at some point. Uh, I don't know what's more important. Should we automate stuff, or as in automate using a AE2, or do we just Automate all of this stuff and get it all going at the same time. It's probably more important to do this, right? You get more resources and then we can do the AE stuff. I don't know. Um, what does that get us? Random reward. Oh! Basic spell turret from Ars Nouveau. Brilliant. And it also gave us... Was that? An, did, it, did it give us one? No, it didn't. Okay. Ah, oh, shame. Anyway, now that we've gotten started, what do we move on to? Probably resources, right? I feel like resources are going to be good. Why has it only got two things? Food and farming. Where's the chickens one? There should be a chickens one. I really don't want to do this, but we might we might do it. Technology is also in there. Uh, it could be kind of cool to get the entire create one done at some point. I think that's what I might do with my episodes moving forwards. Once we've got like everything, all of the, you know, resources automated. So, gravel, sand, dust. Uh, that's probably going to be netherrack, endstone, soulstone, and then this will be I don't know. What will this be? This will probably be skystone? Yeah, skystone. Stick that in like that. That doesn't have anywhere to go. I should probably have not done that. That's fine. And it's not set to split because I don't I didn't want it to split over there. We could do that. That'll get us a load of stuff for applied energistics. Yeah, I think that's probably a plan. Anyway, right. I'm going to call it there for today. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.